Okay, so what's going on? Hope you are well. Well enough to deal with this question. So we have section B of question 6. It says the diagram below not drawn to scale. So this diagram shows a triangular prism. Triangular. Okay, so you have a triangle here, triangle over here. So it's triangular. A, B, C, D, E, F. Hmm. Let's see what they're talking about here. A, B, C. All right. D, E, F. Okay. All well and good. The cross section is the right angle triangle A, B, C. Right angle triangle A, B, C. Okay. This is a right angle triangle A, B, C. And this is a cross section. So the cross section, what are you talking about? It's like if you have a long piece of board and you cut it across with a hacksaw, when you finish the part that you see the sawtooth, that would be the cross section like you see the saw marks right here. So that would be the cross section, right? Right along this face. So AB is 6. A, B is 6. Okay. So you can see that here. So A, B is 6 long. And B, C is 10. From B to C is 10. Alright. All well and good. No. The question is. Calculate the area of triangle A, B, C. This triangle A, B, C. So you want the area of this triangle A, B, C. Well, now, let's see how you're going to deal with that. The area of triangle A, B, C. Um, the weight is right now. It's kind of crowded with all of these other lines. So, let's put it one side. Let's take it out one side. So, let's say this is our triangle. So I redraw this side over here. No whole heap and a lot of things crowding it. So I have A here. So this is my A. Then B. B is ready and C up here. Good. This is 6 centimeter long and this is 10 centimeter long. Right angle, triangle here. Right angle here. Now, first of all, you might say that we can calculate it as area equal to half base times height. But remember, it is a vertical height you want. This is a slant. This is a slant height here, not a vertical height, right? This 10 here is a slant height. If it was this, then it wouldn't be in so much problem. We want the vertical height. So, we want half base times height. We have to find this. Now, it is a right angle triangle. So, if we want AC, the method that you can use is what we call Pythagoras theorem. All right. So let us try that. Now, the hypotenuse squared, so ten squared, equal to one of the side square, one of the short side square, because the other two sides are shorter than the hypotenuse. So we say this squared plus. AC squared. Let us make up a name for this. Call this L. Say L squared. Alright? Or we could call it H. H is a nice letter because it's a vertical height we want. H for height. So, hypotenuse square equal this side square plus this side square. So, 
we can say 100 is equal to 6 sixes or 36 plus 8 square. Subtract 36 from both sides. We subtract 36 over here and the 36 is gone. And we have 100 minus 36 over here equal 8 square. 100 minus 36 is what? You know that 100 minus 30 is 70. Take 6 more off and you'll get 64. So 64 is equal to h squared. All right? No. Let me switch it around and say h squared is equal to 64. I want h equal, not h squared equal. So what do I do? I must square root h squared to get h. So the square root of h squared equal the square root of 64. I have to square root the other side as well. Square root this, I have to square root this too. Square root of h squared is h. Square and the square root cancel out each other. What is square root of 64 in our calculator? You have to remember. You have to remember these things. Remember your squares and your square roots. Square root of 64 is 8 because it's 8, 64. So we see that this is 8 high. We now have the vertical height. So the area of a triangle is half. The base, which is 6, times the vertical height, h, 8, I mean. So half of 6 is what? 3. 3 by 8. 3, 8, 24. All right? 3, 8, 24. Nice. After that, the length of the prism, if the volume is 540, my, my, my. Let's see how this part goes. So you review this. Make sure you understand it. Then I want you to do this part. And let me see what your answer is. Pause the video. Complete part two. The length of the prism. Let me see what your answer is. Or look at your answer and then you continue the video. But now let's see. The volume of the prism is 540 centimeters squared. Damn centimeter cube, I mean. We know that the area is 24. So we have 24 cm cube. S square, I mean square. I didn't put the um, units here, cm squared. So you must always put your units. Over here is the same, 24 cm squared. The area right here, right? So this area is 24, and this area is 24. Now, the volume of any uniform shape that mean with the same cross section throughout is the area of the side times the length all right just like the volume of a cylinder pi r squared times height or if you make the cylinder lie down pi r squared times the length so this is the length b to e or you could say from a to d to so we know that the volume is 540 is equal to the area 24 times the length. Now what do we do? We don't want 24 times L equal. We want L alone equal. So we divide this by 24. 24 cancel itself. Over here is 540 over 24. Uh, we're kind of running out of space. So the length is 540 over 24. What do we do now? We could say by 2, divide by 2. 2 into 5 goes 2 times on 1, 20, 14, 7, so it's 270 over, this is 24. 2 into 24 goes 12. And we could say 6, 2, 6, 4, 7, 28, 3, 7, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, so 3 into 12 goes 4 times. 
3 into 27 goes 9 times. 90 divided by 4. And 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 9 goes how much? 2. And leave 1. 4 into 10 goes 2 times. Remainder 2. So therefore, is 22 and 2 fourths is 22 and a half. About, alright, 22.5 centimeter then. So we have 22.5 centimeter. Okay. So, everything okay with that one? So, after that, my, my, my. What a question. What they want here for part three? It doesn't really look that easy. Is to find the surface area of the prism. Alright? Now, how about you dealing with that for me? And let me see what you did. Pause the video, do it, and then continue after that. See how well you can do at this question. All right, now, you did it, and you, you pause the video, and you're back, all right? Now, the surface area of the prism. First of all, we have the left-hand side. And you knew from long time it's 24. Whew, we got rid of that one quickly. And then the right hand side is 24. The left and the right are 24 each. So we have so far 24 plus, all right, let me put it here, 24 plus 24 plus something else. Guess what? We know that this is 10. You see, this part here, B, C, F, E, you realize what it is? It's a rectangle. It is 10 high and how wide? 22.5. All right? So we can find the area of that rectangle. The part that is slanted is going to be 10 times 22.5, which is 225. So right here, this surface is 22.5. No, this is 225 plus 225 plus the bottom part now, right here. We know that it is another rectangle. Another rectangle. Guess what? It is this, 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 and this. So you have a rectangle at the bottom. And you can see that one side of it is six long. So it's six times, and the other side is, 20, is 22.5. So, use a calculator, just to be quick. 22.5 by 6, how much do you get? 135. Alright, let me write this good, you know, before I forget what it was later. It's going to be plus 135 plus, we have any part left? Yeah, the back. So, the back, we saw that the back is 8 high. Let me put it here. The back of it is 8 high and 22.5 wide. So, when we talk about this section here, right around the back, we're saying that this is 8 high multiplied by, or wide again, 22.5. 22.5. So, you can use a calculator. Just quickly calculate 22. 0.5 multiplied by 8, how much do you get? 
180. All right, good, 180. So, 180. So, so far, what we have? We have 24 for this side, 24 for the other side, 22.5 for the slant surface. We have 135 for the bottom and 180 for the area around the back. So it seems like we cover everything so far. What I want you to do is just quickly complete this calculation using a calculator. Do it and tell me what you get. So that 24 plus 24 plus 225 plus 135 take time now you know plus 180 make sure you don't make any mistake did you get 588 seem like that is the answer for me 588 and remember the unit now centimeter squared so seem like this is the answer for this all right so that is what we have the length of the prism was what the answer for this part, the length of the prism, is 22.5 centimeter, and the area of a triangle was what 24. So we have, we seem to have all of our answers covered so far. So, if you did it and got all right, congratulations, and we look forward to the next question later.